Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So let's add a table here that gives us products. So I'm going to go to, um, this is the admin view. So here instead of, um, instead of putting stuff here, I'm going to put separate files. So I'm going to put a PHP uh, tag here and put a switch statement. So I'm going to say switch and what I want is tab to help me determine what to do. So if the value for tab is products, then I'm going to include a specific file. So there's a views path here. So I would do exactly this require the views path. So in the views path, we have partials, right? But let's get it from the admin section. And in the admin here, we'll have products. Okay, good. So let's create it, a new file, save it. It's going to be products dot view dot php okay so if we don't see any errors then things went well good so here i want to create a table now it's always a good idea to make the table responsive so what we would do is we'll change this to a div instead and then i will oops I will add a class of, uh, what class do I add? Table responsive. Let's add a table. Table row. Table head. And let's say product. So I don't know what we may need here. Maybe an ID, a product, and an image. Yeah. What else do we have in the products table? There's a barcode, there's a description, uh, quantity amount. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so barcode here, maybe. Maybe we can have both, no problem. ID and barcode. Product, uh, and then is, uh, image here, but we have a few other things. We have quantity. We have amount. Or price. Uh -huh. Great. Uh, let's have a date as well when this was added. Finally, we can have action. All right. So if I now refresh, this is what I get. But let's add some class to the table and we'll add table striped table hover. Okay, refresh and there we go. Okay, so at least we have uh, good information. Maybe the ID may not be necessary. Yeah, looks like quite an amount of information already. So let's remove the ID. All right, so with this in mind, let's duplicate this and every table header should change to table data. So TD instead, okay. 
this is where we will do a for each loop. So let's do some PHP here and say uh, for each. Uh, products as product. Let's put a full colon and close that. And let's do this, that. Um, wait, what am I doing here? What am I doing with my life? Oh, okay, it's PHP and if like that. Okay, good. And for each, actually. Right. But we need an if statement, though. So let's push everything in. We need to know if uh, this guy is not empty. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And then here we will add a particular uh, product barcode but you never know we should escape and let me copy this same to product description so here i can do this just to make things easier on myself right so quantity uh, price which over there is called amount uh, image let's leave that be for now the date is a date action will be buttons so we need some buttons um, edit and delete in the classes let's add button button uh, danger button small so delete is danger this other one can be success okay pretty good so if i refresh i won't see oh line 23 syntax error unexpected token end for each so i need an end if at the end here all right we are in business so now it's a good idea to add put a button to add new so instead of action here let's do add new so i'm going to copy this button right here i will put it there now with this button i will put an i tag class fa fa plus space and say add new this is a small button so that's okay refresh there we go but it should be button primary that always looks much better so when i click here i'm adding a new product so this should have an a tag that leads a specific way so index.php uh, pg is equal to product new let's move that a tag onto the bottom like so refresh boom okay very good so when i cancel here it should take me to the other side so this should be the link so i'm going to copy this and let's go to product new 
right here is this products product new console should take me there so a tag that's the link remove the a tag paste there and boom so let's see that refresh add new console add new console okay so we are in business now we just need to make this functional add product so that we can actually add a product and click save 